We've recently introduced Sims by Quinn to the marketplace. So what is Sims by Quinn? The term Sims stands for Super Insulated Masonry System. And quite simply, it consists of a single leaf quinlite block built using thin joint mortar with an external wall insulation system on the outside. The external wall insulation comprises of a layer of insulation which typically is uh, expanded polystyrene, mechanically fixed or adhered or a combination of both back to the quinlite block and onto the, that then you put a base coat, a glass fibre reinforcing mesh, a key coat and then that then is finished with either acrylic silicone or monocoose ramper. Internally it's finished with either traditional sand and cement, a thin coat plaster which is generally sprayed on or plasterboard and dabs. So we'll quickly look in more detail at thin joint technology. Thin joint technology or thin joint mortar is a polymer modified cement based mortar. It generally comes in a 25 kg bag and you simply add water and mix it with a paddle mixer on site. The mortar is applied in 3 mm thickness, so your joint thickness is only 3 mm, and it's applied using a scoop with a serrated edge, quite like a tiling trowel. The scoop then puts on enough mortar just to give you a consistent 3 mm mortar joint. The strength of the mortar is typically 10 newtons, so it's much stronger than traditional sand cement mortar. And the key point about it also is that it's very quick setting. Initial set takes place in about 10 minutes, but the mortar is fully set in between one and two hours, which means that you're not restricted to the caution heights which you can build in one day. So you can build a full story height in a day, another story height the next day, which means that you can build your external wall faster, get your roof on faster, get your internal threads in faster. So that's one of the key benefits of the joint model. So how do Sims compare to traditional cavity wall construction? So here I've shown two little diagrams on the left here. It's a typical 350mm wide cavity wall. So you have a 100mm inner leaf, 100mm outer leaf, separated by 150 mil cavity and your insulation is within the cavity. On the right here we have our sims or our single leaf quinlite block at 200 mil wide and to achieve the same thermal performance as this particular wall we need 140 mil of expanded polystyrene on the outside. So looking at a speed of build point of view you can quite clearly see that here we have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to build. To gain the same height with Sims, we only have three blocks. So already Sims or single leaf masonry is twice as quick to build than your traditional cavity wall construction. In addition to that, it has been proven that building using thin joint mortar is 20% faster than building using traditional sand cement mortar. That being the case, and combining it with the reduced number of blocks, building your external leaf of your building using sims is 60% faster than traditional cavity wall construction. That means you get your external walls built up forced, quickly, you get your roof on, your house weather tight, and you can begin your internal trains much faster. You can come along then and start your external wall insulation system whenever suits. So that's a huge benefit of Sims. Moving then on to strength, we're looking at the structural properties of the wall. We've had an independent study carried out on a typical uh, gable end wall of a semi-detached house and we compared this 350mm wide cavity wall 
width are 340mm wide, same as wall. So there was a nominal lateral load applied to both walls of 1.05 kilonewtons per square metre, replicating wind load. And the study revealed that on the traditional cavity wall, we could apply a load of 100 kilonewtons per linear metre onto that wall. With the same lateral load, with the quinlite block built with thin joint mortar, we could apply 291 kilonewtons per metre. So we can see there that Sims is almost three times stronger than traditional wall construction for the same wall thickness. We also carried out the study with a 150mm quin light built with thin joint mortar and it was still twice as strong as the traditional cavity wall. So again, that highlights the benefit of SIMS over and above traditional wall construction. So now just a general overview of the entire benefits of SIMS by Quinn. Faster or rapid build, we've covered that up here. We can see that it's 60% faster than traditional uh, cavity wall construction. And it's on a par with uh, light frame construction such as timber frame or steel frame. Stronger, again, we've proven that significantly stronger than traditional wall construction. So there's no issue at all from a structural point of view. Thermal performance. If we look at thermal performance in terms of U values and Psi values, from a U value point of view, you have two thermal elements. Your structural element is also a thermal element, being your quinlite block, and then your external wall insulation. So really you can achieve any U value you want in SIMS because you're not restricted by the amount of insulation you can put on on the outside of the wall. Here if we look at our traditional wall where the insulation is in the cavity, you're restricted by the width of your cavity. And if your cavity gets any wider than 150 mil, you're into structural wall ties and more expense. So you are limited to the amount of insulation you can install in a traditional cavity. Whereas using SIMS, you, there's no restriction. You can get the values down as low as 0.12 using uh, 180 mil of EPS on the outside of the wall. Also, from a U value point of view, if we go back to our thin joint technology and look at our 3 mil mortar thickness, because the mortar joint is 7 mil thinner than your traditional 10 mil mortar joint, your repeating thermal bridges through the block is reduced and that improves the U value of your wall. So that, that's a key uh, benefit of using the thin joint mortar also. Reduce mortar joints, therefore better U values. Looking then at side values, again, because you have two thermal elements, your side values or your thermal bridging values in your building are going to be very good. The ideal scenario when designing a building is to create a box and wrap that box externally with insulation. Obviously that's not possible with windows, doors, junctions, etc. But by using a thermal element here as a structural element and wrapping the outside of that with an insulation, that makes your side values very, very easily uh, dealt with and improved and gives you a very good thermal performance in your building in terms of weight factors. So from a thermal point, performance point of view, by default, SIMS is a very good solution. Moving on to air tightness, our thin joint technology and our 3 mil mortar joint gives a very good air tightness in that it doesn't dry away from the block the same way as traditional sand cement does. So the joints between the blocks are going to be very airtight using the thin joint mortar. In SIMS, your airtight layer is going to be on the outside of the block between your block and your insulation as opposed to the inside of the block which means you can track and chase the inside of the block and you're not affecting 
the integrity of the airtightness layer or barrier in the wall. So from that point of view, it's again a very good solution. Zero compensation risk. By putting the insulation on the outside of the wall, there's no risk of interstitial condensation because the dew point is on the outside of your wall. We often see new builds and existing builds which are being upgraded, insulation put on the inside of the block wall. What that does is brings the dew point to the inside of the block wall which can lead to interstitial condensation and mould growth. So by putting the insulation on the outside, as we do in Sims, we're eliminating that risk completely. And finally, Sims is cost effective. We've had an independent study carried out by a quantity surveyor comparing the cost of Sims against timber frame and traditional masonry. It's coming in cheaper than timber frame and it's, but it's coming in slightly more expensive than traditional masonry construction. But the speed of build way outweighs the difference in cost between Sims and traditional form of construction and that additional cost can be taken back through the speed of build. So that is Sims by Quinn. So if you're interested in Sims by Quinn or you have any project which you'd like us to take a look at, please get in touch with our technical department and we'll look at your project and can give you a cost on supply only of the quinlite blocks and the mortar and associated components, supply and lay of the blocks or supply of the entire SIM system. So please get in touch with our technical department.